What was that thing that you said when your friend has like a really good outfit on? Where you're such like, a bitch. <laughs> Well, back at another one, you're gonna actually have a baby by the time people are listening or watching this, right? Oh I yeah, know. so soon. We're just like a few days out now. So, okay. when's your due date? Um, well, it's it's July 29th. I've been saying July 28th because that's when I want him to come. So I'm putting that out there in the yes. universe. So be very relaxed and zen that day, based on what you just told me. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy what they talk about, like how your body, apparently if you, if you're pregnant and you're trying to push this baby out, um, other than sex, there's, you know, different ways to do it, to get the baby out. But just being in like, they were saying the parasympathetic nervous system, like, which I like literally never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you want a science lesson? <laughs> you, your how body. How much time do we have? Yeah. yeah. Right. Your I've body. I've been twice and I haven't heard of that. So. Oh, well yeah. your there's your sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic. One is like fight or flight. You know, you're working, you're under stress. That's your sympathetic. I think, I hope I'm right. Or my husband's going to kill me. <laughs> um, but parasympathetic is like when you're relaxed and stuff like that. But that's why they say it's actually like. Um, those hormones are released like after having sex and um, or getting a massage or getting acupuncture things like that when you're rested and relaxed so I don't have to be induced when I'm gonna have a baby I feel like I'm <laughs> always stressed out either yeah. that or just tell Nick to rub your nipples a little bit <laughs> <laughs> he actually gives the worst back rubs oh no oh. <laughs> yeah it's weird because I watch him does he do it on purpose I kind of thought about that, but he's just not, he wants to make me happy in any way that he can, so he definitely wouldn't do that, but, like, I watch him rub the dog's head and massage their ears, and I'm, like, Mm -hmm. I just, like, get relaxed watching it, and then he gives me one, it's just, like, the worst massage I've ever had. (laughs) You know what? I will say, I didn't think that Andy, I, I didn't think that Andy was, like, that good at massages, and then... All of a sudden, in the last, like, week or two, he started, like, rubbing my feet and my back. And I'm like, you're actually really good at this. I think he's been holding out on me until, like, now he has, like, a reason. Like, okay, I did this to her, and she's about to, like, be in labor. So he's like, I better put some, like, effort or muscle into it. So today we're going to be talking about what? Take away. Pregnancy and motherhood and everything in between with miscarriages. How pregnancy started. We all know how it happens, but, like, what positions were we all in? What? (laughs) You asked earlier. I, like, okay, I didn't ask. You guys brought it up. Did she ask? I, I feel like she asked. I will say I do know the exact day and time that this That's happened. That's so crazy. Like, people say that, and I've heard that, and I was like, I wonder if I'll know when I got pregnant, get pregnant, but I did, totally didn't know. I didn't know what time. Mm-hmm. I feel like I would know, like... Well, I guess it depends on if you have sex a lot. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we so... Like, at that, least once a day. Yeah. 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 So that makes it difficult. <laughs> We, I mean, we still have sex a good amount of time, but it was just, um... How, yeah, how'd you know? Oh, man. I want to, like, get into it and share the entire story, but my husband would probably kill me. Um, <laughs> we were on our two-year anniversary trip, and we got there to the hotel, and they, just everything went wrong. Like, you know, you have those expectations oh, yeah. of, like, oh, yes. um, you know, you're going to have a beautiful view. We upgraded our room, and it's our two-year anniversary. And you guys and- are, like members of their VIP something, right? Oh, not that, that place. A, that's, that's a different, different one. one. That okay. was our honeymoon and gotcha. and then slash baby moon. Um, when you went to Arizona? Yeah, we yeah. were in Scottsdale. Um, yeah, and basically I was just frustrated with the hotel and it was like killing the vibe and the mood and oh, yeah. my husband just um, wanted to make me happy and get me in a better <laughs> mood. Men also like to have sex when they're stressed out. I've- huh found out oh, okay like in the middle of the remodel Nick's like can we just disappear for a second I'm like now right now in the middle of all the stress right now you want to go like well that's probably comparable to makeup sex maybe yeah it's like, like just a release like, oh that's not Andy if he's stressed he'd be like no <laughs> oh Nick's the opposite he's like uh let's go have a tequila shot and like jump in bed for a second I'm like in the- what I feel like we should have the guys here so they can vouch for themselves <laughs> I know they're gonna be like wait what <laughs> they have no voice yeah. No. Only female voices. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it was it was a pretty um, good memory, you could say. And basically, we had to change rooms. And um, someone, I wasn't gonna change a room like at a hotel without seeing the other room. Like I wanted to know my <laughs> options. Okay. And um, so they sent someone on a golf cart to pick us up to take us to this other room so we could check it out. And um, pretty much, we had just finished um, having our fun as the guy knocked on the door and so there was no time to 
you know, you're supposed to like run to the restroom afterwards and nope, there was none of that. I pulled my dress down, Andy ran in the bathroom and <laughs> That's how you got the guy knocked on the door and I got in a golf cart and I just and that remember was that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Were you trying? Um, we weren't. <laughs> we were not trying, but we weren't we're not trying. Uh-huh. They were trying. It was one of right. those. Yeah, I, I can relate. That's how we were, too. That's what everyone says. It's like, if you're not not trying, yeah. then you're trying. Yeah. And we were not not trying. We weren't on birth control. We was just like, I think with COVID, it just taught me, like, there's just so much you can't control, yeah. you know? And I was just like, I don't even care anymore. And I was just like, whatever. Yeah. Like, when it's well, meant to happen, could, like, it'll happen. Well, you having yeah. a baby. And, like, it wasn't, like, something that you guys weren't that you were opposed to so yeah and we had gone through the miscarriage which was an absolute accident um I had just gotten off birth control and then three weeks later found out I was pregnant so we weren't trying I just wanted my body to be off the hormones um at that time and just stayed off of them but I mean we we also had so many friends and people that we knew that either went through miscarriages or like had to go through IVF and and like after years of trying found out they couldn't have a child naturally and so to me I was kind of like you know what are the odds that we're just gonna get pregnant right away and like it might take time and so I thought I'd rather find out now if I had if I was gonna have issues and you know and so but apparently we didn't we were very lucky and blessed and you know I'm feeling now after the miscarriage I'm like okay so I was thinking I would prefer if it happened next year but now I'm like hearing people say yeah after I had a miscarriage it took me six years to get pregnant or it took me six months I'm like I don't have that kind of time like I want to have like at least three kids to I guess you say at least two four tops probably yeah but um, I'm just sitting here thinking like my husband's gonna kill me and I hope my in-laws aren't gonna listen to this (laughs) (laughs) well if they are then they won't anymore this will will either make a listener or not (laughs) Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's what it is. But the pregnancy, how has it been for you? Because I know this morning she was telling us that she found creamer in the cupboard. So uh-huh. how's the rest of it been? So yeah, far? other than the pregnancy brain, yeah, I literally made my coffee this morning and apparently put the creamer back into my pantry rather than the fridge. So that was funny when I found that. Um, but other than that, I really can't complain. I feel bad. I feel like good. the listeners are going to hate me and, like, come, like, with torches because I've had just happy for you it's been well, easy because I've had such an easy pregnancy I know yeah. so many women that's not the case um I had like zero morning sickness yeah I worked out pretty much the entire pregnancy I felt like I felt great the pregnancy boobs are amazing <laughs> yeah you had not a good experience with either of your pregnancies you She's like, had no. Two. two, yes. And it was just not. No, my body was does it? not like being pregnant. I was just sick the entire time. Oh, like, there awful. was no morning sickness. There was no first trimester. It was morning to night, beginning to end. And that's when so you, rough. Like, how do you even have a life you don't. with that going on? You don't. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you don't. Compiled with other things. Yeah, it definitely was not ideal. And but, like, you were young, younger than I am. So yeah. it's just, it's crazy how different pregnancies can be. Absolutely. Well, and I, Definitely had high hopes with the second one that it wouldn't be as bad, but mm-hmm. I don't know. A lot of people were like, "Oh, like they're all completely different. Like right. one could be bad, one might be, you know, whatever." Um, so you probably thought it was could be a little bit different, but it wasn't. Yeah, and neither were planned either. So yeah. who knows? It could have been my body. It could have been circumstances. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what exactly it was, but it definitely yeah. wasn't like, "Yay, I'm pregnant." So, you know, yeah. that could have a lot to do with it, too. Like, if it's planned or not, and just Maybe. your mental state. And I, if your mental state isn't good, then you're not taking good care of your body, and you're not eating right, you're not exercising, you're not, yeah. you know, positive affirmation. Yeah. So it could have been an accumulation of things. But That's true. But definitely I'm glad I was young because I think if I were to have one now, I probably would have talked myself out of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so, you So, you know, it all happened the way it was supposed to. I mean, your track record sucks. Like, that sounds miserable. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I was only six weeks when mine started stopped like growing I guess and so I didn't like I didn't really have any morning sickness or any mm-hmm. signs other than like I was so horny all the time yeah. is that how you knew that's, like that's like a how definite to... well I missed my period so when I was oh, okay. a road trip from Nashville back to San Diego I was pregnant I didn't know it mm-hmm. um but no I missed my period I just didn't have it mm-hmm. and I that doesn't happen I always have my period at the same time every single month you know 28 day cycle mm-hmm. and so I was like something's weird and then I was like, I gotta take a pregnancy test because yeah. that's just odd. Because I, you know, we're not not trying either, so right. it's like not yeah. on birth control, whatever. Um, but I wanted to check because I was on the testosterone cream, which I didn't 
realize or know. Like, I feel like my doctor probably should have said, hey, by the way, if you're gonna get on this, like, are you trying? Because I would have been like, oh, we're not not trying, I'm not on birth control. And then she, at which time she would have said, well, just FYI, you can't be on the cream when you're trying no. to get pregnant. I wish I would have known that. And I did ask her, I said, hey, would that have affected and, you know, hurt the baby? Like, is mm -hmm. that why I had a miscarriage? And she said, no, you were on very low, uh, I was on 1% cream. She's like, you would have had, your levels were already, like, your levels were very low. Cause I had a panel done when I was pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. And my progesterone, all my levels of everything were like perfect for like okay. having a great pregnancy. Yeah. Um, and my testosterone levels were still in the like low twenties, like 22% or whatever, 20. You're so, a woman is supposed to be at around like 60 or something like that. Oh. And I was still like 20 before I was below 10. So she was like, no, it wouldn't have affected it. But yeah. I didn't have any, like my pee smelled pretty bad. That's like, weird. Like it had a weird smell. That's, I Googled it. It's like a thing. Oh. Yeah. So I don't, know I don't even remember. Smells. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But um, pregnancy brain is a real thing. But even before I was pregnant, I would like put the espresso pod in there and turn it on and it would be overflowing. I'd look over and be like, oh, I didn't put a coffee cup under there. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't imagine what I'm going to be like. I'm going to be putting creamer <laughs> in all sorts of weird places. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just the bleach on our heads. I don't it know. It could be. Yeah, it's possible. Anybody have, Yeah. When they say it doesn't go away, right, Jenna? No. It just turns know. into mom brain. It gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I've, I've like, so literally left no the hope. front Take door me out open. Back now. Just shoot me. It's <laughs> bad. My husband literally is just like, I don't even understand how you function on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, like, man. How do, you, how do you own a business? The like, other day, we made dinner, and I made the rice, and we, like, like plated, sat down, ate dinner, watched TV, went to go to bed, and Andy's like looking at the stove and I'm like what are you doing and he goes over there I left the freaking stove on and it was just on like a simmer so I didn't see it I I mean it would have been on all night yeah, it I was on this, I've all done the that. time I left the, yeah. oh I my left the stove on for yeah. like two hours once and I'm not even pregnant okay so, so maybe it's fuck? I don't it's know maybe it's the bleach or we're just busy boss or babe, yeah. I don't know <laughs> could be that I, I do the stove thing all the time I've Oof. done it for the I've done it I, I I've done it since I had a stove to cook on. Like, yeah. it's been bad the past <laughs> I leave the garage especially. door open a lot. Okay. Yeah, I don't do that. That I'm kind of anal about. Yeah. But, I'm usually, uh, like, carrying 50 million things in. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, because, mm -hmm. like, uh, you left the garage door open again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I don't forget that one. But, um, yeah, I had a really crazy sex drive when mm. I was pregnant. So do you remember how exactly you got pregnant? Uh, yeah, I was getting boned. <laughs> getting boned oh, is, that, is that how it happens? <laughs> That's how it happens. Usually. Yeah, I mean, um, usually. Oh, yeah. Usually. Sometimes. I don't remember. So I remember the exact day because I was, because we were not, not trying. I've been, I would, I mark in yeah. my thing. Because they always ask you that when you're going yeah. to your first prenatal appointment or whatever. You're yeah. like, oh, when's it? I'm like, I don't fucking know. So I keep track of it all. So I have an answer. And I was like, it was this date. Mm -hmm. It was, mm. It's so loud outside. Oh, oh yeah, huh? It's so loud. What Editing. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. That's where the porter potty usually is. So okay. they're probably like digging up poop or something. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're doing. But <laughs> anyways. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. No. <laughs> We're going to try and get really good at editing. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I've tried to edit sound out like that before and it, I did not, I was not successful. So hopefully we can, but yeah. Um, so that's, yeah, I don't know, did, did, you didn't, how did you find out you are pregnant? Like, well, did you not have a period or what? Yeah, so, I mean, it was a little while ago. My son's gonna be 20. You were what, 18? I was 18. Yeah. And, um, I was... It's crazy, I can't imagine me 18 years old oh my having the responsibility. Like, even now, mm -hmm. 32 years old, I'm like, am I ready for this? Well, like, sometimes I think it's better to not know. Like, yeah. you're just like, okay, here it is. Like, that's how I'm so much better with problems like that. Like, just give it to me and let me deal with it. Well, mm -hmm. this isn't a problem. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, I mean. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> um, it was it was definitely a very different circumstance with my son. I was mm -hmm. 18 and I was dating this guy. And um, I think I'd, like, kissed one guy. Uh, I didn't, like, kiss until I was 17. I didn't either. Yeah, okay. I think it might have been 16 and a half. Yeah. I wanted to be sweet 16 and never been kissed, so that was like... Wait, so I was the first one kissed out of the three of us? Probably. <laughs> I guess so. How old were you? Well, like, I don't know, 
like cheek Making or like, or, yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, are you talking about like grade a peck or like a kissed. cheek or like a... Like lip to lip. Oh, eighth grade for me, I think. Then. Seventh grade. Okay. Yeah, I was still 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. Who would have thought that that's I was the first one? Issues. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That must be it. <laughs> that's, that's right, with me with my daddy issues. Right? I was kissing boys young. Yeah. <laughs> We needed that attention oh for a boy. Well, right? and I think, was it you that I was talking to? We both had promise rings? No? Somebody else? No. No? Oh. I had one for, like, a high so school no, boyfriend. No, 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 my, my parents. Oh. Oh, like that. I had a promise that. ring with my parents. And That's God. so cute. Yeah, so I had these cute little promise rings. So I was definitely, like. My parents like, wanted me to get one, but I was like, mm, yeah, Oh, I, I loved it. I was like, nope, I'm not going to have sex. Like, I was, like, totally fine with being the tease. Like, that, was that Christian based? Yeah. The promise ring. Okay, so my no. parents tried to. Okay, so um, my sister is a virgin and she's 24. Uh huh. And she's Good engaged for her. finally. So I'm like, yeah. I wanted to say when she was like, I'm engaged, I wanted to be like, you're so much closer to having sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say that because that would be rude. But Oh, man. No, I think that's definitely for her. my intent. And I, you know, that was always my thing. But with my son's father we didn't like exactly do what you would typically assume you would need to do to have a baby so you were a virgin I was a virgin when yes. you got pregnant I was a virgin when I got pregnant I was technically were... technically a virgin even while I was pregnant <laughs> I feel like you need to like say that again the listeners are not That's gonna like just a podcast uh, I, was, I was I was a pregnant, a pregnant virgin, virgin. <laughs> yeah like seriously you're yeah. like Mary I or Jane the Virgin. Isn't that a show? Yeah. Yeah, it's a novella. Okay, well, Mary it? was like... It's a telenovela. Like, I know, yeah. but Mary, like, I, I mean, that's a little that's a little different. We actually... Like, we, your son is in Jesus, is what you're saying? Okay, everyone's dying to know how you're <laughs> okay. pregnant or virgin, and yes. none of them believe you right now, no, so... No, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think so either. Like, I went and I had, like, mm-hmm. a whole bunch of things, because I thought maybe, like, I got, like, drugged at a party, or... Something, you know, but then when my son was born, obviously the guy that we assumed the father was didn't fully believe it, so he wanted a paternity test, obviously, mm-hmm. and it did turn out to be his kid, so a part of me was really too, because I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't get, like, roofied or whatever, yeah. and, yeah. um, so... Well, the doctor even had the to do the doctor had to, to break the thing that you need to break to... The cherry. The, yeah. Those hymen. two things. I learned what that was. Just say it. I learned what that was. I didn't know what a hymen was, like, two weeks ago. Oh. And well, yeah, I didn't know until I was pregnant No. Either. I've never heard that term. Yeah. I was just like... Oh, I hadn't even heard about it. My husband had to tell me. I heard about it when I was learning to put tampons in. Well, see, I'd never even used a tampon. Like, That's nothing. Crazy. Nothing. No, nothing. Yeah, yeah. so... Is everyone still dying to know how the hell this happened? I mean, uh-huh. I can only, as, like, guess as to how it happened, but we, we definitely weren't not doing things. We were messing around. There was, you know... I didn't have a very, very uh, thorough sex education. Yeah. My parents were very just, don't have sex till you're married. You know, yeah. and that was it. That was the end of the conversation. And, and this is a... Uh, what I was telling her, this is a por- important part of it, not to interrupt you, yeah. but just because, like... I, I I would need to teach my kids about this Absolutely. Now. Oh, like, my kids, since yeah. they were, I think we started talking about when they were, like, 13. Like, because yeah. I was like, this is not, I love them. I love him. I'm so grateful it happened the way that it did. But, like, I definitely, in the moment, which the, re- the main reason I'm talking about this, because I know 99% of you are not going to believe me, and that's not really why I'm telling this. I'm telling mm-hmm. this because there's probably maybe this tiny, tiny percentage of girls that are out there that this may have happened to, and they think their life is over. Because I definitely was devastated. Like, uh, everything I'd ever like held on to and valued in my life, I uh, was no longer who I was anymore. Well, yeah. and part of it too, I'm sure, was like you felt like then people are instantly judging you, like yeah. thinking oh, yeah. you're this 18 year old girl who's yeah. sleeping around, yes. who's and that wasn't you uh-uh. at all. I went no. from this like Jesus freak, like you know, I mean, don't don't get me wrong, I definitely was like I went to a private school, so mm-hmm. I was probably the bad girl of the school, <laughs> but the good girl of all of my <laughs> normal <laughs> society normal friends. Yeah. yeah, like if I went out with my public school friends I was the good girl if I hung out with my private school friends yeah. I was the bad girl <laughs> so that is so um, me too that's really? so funny yeah yeah I'm thinking about it I'm like yeah no I refused to do yeah. the cocaine yeah, no, I when know. I was in high school when my friends from public school wanted to yes. and then in private school I was getting in trouble because people were telling the principal that I was cutting my arms right okay, so wait, yeah. yeah that was that was definitely me too when I um was in high school like all my friends you know, drank and had, like, been drunk, and I didn't have, like, my first drink until I was, like, a senior in high school, and, and, like, you know, um, and then 
but like when I went to a, a Christian school, I remember I got in trouble because I wore a shirt that said blondes do it better. Right. And do uh, it was yeah. really big. And I was like the, I mean, I wasn't like a whore of the school, but I was kind of <laughs> like seen as like this like bad, yeah. this uh, bad example is the bad egg totally. of school. Well, I have friends know. that their parents like wouldn't let them talk to me or hang out with After that? Anymore. Yep. Wow. Because I was pregnant. But little did they know their little angels were out there having sex mm-hmm. <laughs> where I technically was so not. like earmuffs right. jensen yes. moral of the story is don't just don't touch girls until you're like 40 yes. okay oh, well that was the joke everyone's like don't <laughs> cough around jen she'll get pregnant so <laughs> well if anyone listening is still perplexed i mean i'll just come out and say oh, it yeah, if there there's sperm anywhere yeah. near on or inside or being hands. pushed into your yeah. vagina with a hand or other things you could potentially get pregnant sperm swim yep. that's the thing but so anyway yeah so that was kind of my my mindset and I don't know I think just something got on him and then got onto me somehow and mm-hmm. that was all it took and it turns well my daughter said <laughs> Very. and I guess it happens a lot more than people would think and wow. people like will pull out but and Nicole they think that that's work. Well, and they your think that that's worse than, yeah. exactly yeah. so they yeah. think that that's how they got pregnant but it's actually all the oh, stuff that they were doing beforehand before. when they weren't being careful yeah so yeah oh. it's important little to sex people. ed for you guys exactly <laughs> so if you're out there and you're in my position you're not alone and I actually googled it too to see if there are other people after watching Jane the Virgin she's not talking about the exact position she's right okay. yeah <laughs> my second the situation time, yes. well and I mean at the time like you know I did I thought like nobody's ever gonna believe me nobody's gonna want me nobody's gonna mm-hmm. so then the next guy I was with I just had sex with him so I was like my so best wait, friend you didn't time. have sex your whole no, pregnancy with me this and this guy, guy Never. That is so. Never. That's such a wild like thing. Yeah. Like, so then, I've how old were you when you like lost your virginity? I think I was twenty-one. So I we were together. I stayed with him until Dylan was about nine months old. Uh-huh. Um, I kind of, I kind of knew it was over, but I still wanted to give it a really good chance because mm-hmm. it was for my son. And you guys never had sex this whole time. Yeah, we didn't even kiss after that because like I was just so oh, wow. I was distraught. I was yeah. I, I was like anything to me now was like. Because everything yeah. I thought was just different. Like, I yeah. thought one way, and so I just literally, like, couldn't hold his hand, couldn't kiss him, couldn't even look at him, couldn't stand him touching me. Like, it oh. was just, like, it didn't work, obviously. Yeah. So nine months, um, I left, and we went our separate ways. And then um, the next guy I dated after that, my best friend at the time, convinced me nobody was going to leave me and to just do it. So I just did it. And it was the biggest mistake I ever made. Oh. Like... Don't recommend it. So anyway, don't recommend um, what? Just number one, listening to restaurant. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, like doing things that go against it. who you know you are. Mm. Like doing things because you don't think people will believe you, or because mm. you, you know, just I just did it, and yeah. that was the first person that I like technically had sex with, and it was like. It was such a letdown. It wasn't meaningful. It wasn't meaningful. Mm. It was... I don't think anyone's first time is. No, right? but I like, hyped it up so much. That's one of the problems for me, like, waiting for marriage. Like, I'm I'm Christian, but, like, I just don't subscribe to that. I don't mm-hmm. believe in it. I don't... I think that you need to... Like, sex is this beautiful thing that God gave to us, and other people feel differently, and I respect that, too, yeah. but, like... I feel, that's a really big part of loving someone. And I have been living with Nick for two years. I wouldn't know him the way that I do if we didn't have that relationship. And, like, I think it's important. And then it gets hyped up and certain people just get married because they, you know, feel like they want to have sex because we're humans. Like, yeah. we are horny from the time we hit puberty. So it's like, but in high school, too, I actually had my best friend in high school was 16 and pregnant. Yeah. So yeah, that was, you know, instead of birthday presents for her for her birthday we had a birthday one day apart I buy, bought her like baby stuff yeah Aww. yeah it's hard for me that conversation with like waiting for marriage because I mean did I no um I it sounds like was potentially the youngest I think I was like 16 or 17 when I lost it I was 16 and a half I think. okay yeah I was somewhere around there and um I mean I will say this it's hard and it's weird to talk about like now that you're like married and like you know it's so it's weird to talk about it but I mean I was with this guy for a couple years and he was like my high school sweetheart and it's hard to say like do I regret it do I not um with him no like it actually was meaningful like I I do disagree with that like my first time it was very meaningful um do I look back and say like I wish I would have saved it for my husband Absolutely. You know, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Um, so you do regret it? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you can say. It, it's, it's like a yes and no kind yeah, of thing. I get it's it. hard to like, say yeah. that you regret things because I am who I am today because of everything I've gone through. Right. And, and it was meaningful for you. You know, yeah. I do regret mine though still. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> like, it wasn't too. like a one night stand. It wasn't some random guy. We didn't jump into bed right away. Like we had been together for a long time and it was, That's so nice. you know, That's and great. yeah, I mean, wish him nothing but the best in life, right. you know, I mean, but did it lead down that, you know, like we keep saying the daddy issue, like rabbit hole of like just wanting that attention and affection from guys. And did I go yeah. down a path that I wish I wouldn't have in life? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it's hard to say like as a Christian, I, you know, envy the people that like waited until, you know, they're married to have sex. But at the same time, like I said, like I am who I am and that's my story, but. I don't think that's like a blanket thing for everybody. I right. Think everyone's so different that they need to decide. That's why I don't necessarily think I would pound into my kids. Wait till you're married. Wait till you're married. Because like, I think everyone's on their own journey. And like, if you feel like, I mean, as a kid, it's hard to say, wait, you don't really know what's best for you, but yeah, I feel like it's just different for everybody. Like mm-hmm. I know people that have lost their virginity and then they abstain until they're married for the next time like Mm -hmm. you know because that's what they want to do I just knew from the get-go I didn't want to wait till I was married I just didn't think that that was right for me and it still holds true there's a hair attached to (laughs) me it It was over here but May got rid of it I think my first time was awful so we can talk about that in a second but you think what no I was just saying I think as long as like you're doing it for the right reasons like you said like so many people just get pressured into it or they do it young totally. because everyone else is doing it or they feel yeah. like... Or a guy pressures them. Right. Or, or that they're trying... Or them. Right. Or they're trying to, like, prove something. That's right. exactly like, what that's, it was. I was trying to prove something. Mm-hmm. Like, I was trying to cancel out that I was the pregnant yeah. virgin and just get it over with and be like, okay, I've had sex now. Like, it's it's a non-topic now. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it was just bad. I mean, I think we went to go see Eminem, 11 Mile. That had just come out, and oh then we gosh. went back to his house and had sex. Yeah. And that's how I lost my virginity. Oh. I'll tell you, mine mine's, might so be worse. I mean, I know it's comparing apples and, you know, oranges, but I literally <laughs> um, met this guy, like, online, flew down to San Diego to hang out with him, and he was Christian, is Christian probably still to this day, stuck it halfway in. And then, like, maybe maybe all the way, did a couple for us, and then was like, I can't do this, and left and went to the bathroom, and I was just laying there naked, like... Oh, no. Okay, so I literally just lost my virginity to someone who, A, didn't want to, which I didn't know. I w- d- wouldn't have done it. Yeah. And then now I'm st- sitting here alone, naked on a bed, oh, while he's in the bathroom. Yeah, that's I feel, pretty bad. I don't feel oh. wanted. I just yeah. lost my virginity, and you just pumped away once or twice or something like that, or barely stuck it in there. And I was just mm-hmm. like, that's what I'm moving on with, huh? Okay. Yeah. It was so awkward after that. I was like, first of all, I was not aware that you were saving yourself for marriage. So you oh. just ruined that, so we might as well just enjoy it and have finished it off. <laughs> like, yeah. that was my opinion, but I don't know. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It's not brutal. That's so sad. That is brutal. Yeah, I'm you gonna, went. I would say one of the best things that my husband did for me, because um, I, I feel like there was also a lot of guilt and shame that I carried from, like, having that past, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the best things he did for me was just kind of, like, we had that talk, because every relationship is going to have that talk, right? Yeah. Like, so like, how many people that. have you slept with? And, you know, um, I will not ask Nick that. I don't oh want really? To know the answer to mm-hmm. that. It's hard. I feel like it's like you want to know, but then you don't. I don't want to know. No, I feel like I had to get it off. My oh, chest. I have to know everything. I want to yeah. know how, where, when. So <laughs> because then no the chick has any knowledge of anything that I don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yes. I don't want her to know and be like, oh, well, you don't know what we did. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I get that. Yeah. I could see that. I don't know. But I feel like if I knew the details, that would just drive me crazy. It does for a minute, like, then you get over it. I think more so, like, for me, because Nick's friends with a lot of people that he's been friends with for 10 years. Like, don't let me walk into a party and yes. meet some girl that you Ooh. slept with yes. that you haven't told me about. <gasps> yep. We've had that issue more than once now. Oh, my god. And gosh. I basically told him I'm going to cut his balls off if it happens again. Have you yeah. ever, like, met their ex? Yes. yes. That's well, yes, I met two of them Andy's ex. No, that too. is Ooh. not good. Nothing I gets my blood him boiling more. I don't want to meet her. Yeah. And I met her and it was all downhill from then. So damn it. Uh, I'm just gonna say So this. what did he do for you? That was so I nice. will say okay, I'll say after this. Her name is Brittany and like for whatever reason people can't remember Brooklyn, they'll call me Brittany. Oh. And like one time his mom <laughs> called me Brittany and I was like 
<laughs> just like seeing red. Like, Ugh. do not call me my ex, his ex's name. Anyways, what I was going to say is what Andy did for me is just being like, having that conversation and then being like, okay, it's done. We're yeah, never going to bring on. this up. Like, that is your past. It doesn't even exist anymore. And just being That's able awesome. to like, let go of that, you know, because it is, like I said, it's a weird gray area. Like, yeah. I am who I am because of my past, but are there things I wish I wouldn't have, like, done or gone down, you know? Yeah, yeah. definitely. And, I mean, yeah. I have so much freaking respect for people who wait until they're married. Like, I mean, I, I you're a saint. More power like, to I, you. Seriously, yeah. yeah. Oh, our food's here! Woo! Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah wow, you're good. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no. <laughs> are you guys doing a podcast? Oh, yeah. Who knows? It's going to be a mukbang. Do you want to be on it? I almost actually pulled him in here. I was like, hey, do you want to say hi? To did they seal this together? How did this come? Yeah, it's a oh, cool yeah. bag. They like seal it. it up. Oh. It's like a sauna. Kristen's like busting into the food. I can't. Right we're going to eat it on camera right now. I'm starving. Okay. Wait, we are? Is it going to be, be like too? so much no. wrestling? Yeah, there's going to be smacking in people's faces. Let's finish this and then we'll. Come on, I'm the pregnant one. I'm like, the food can wait. <laughs> and I'm going to run to Starbucks. I'm today, though. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something, and then I choked. <laughs> <laughs> that was me all I got so excited. Uh. So I'm just going to say so, not that I was a virgin with Ken, but like with my first marriage and my second. Oh, yeah, I'm married twice. I don't know if I said that. That was four times. Yeah. I do that all the time. Twice. Twice. Four times. Twice. Four times. So Twice. with <laughs> my first husband, I was, we had sex before I was pregnant, before we got married, mm -hmm. while we got married. And then with Ken, we actually, I actually waited. I was like, we're not going to have sex until we get married. And of course mm -hmm. he's kind of like, mm, you have two kids. <laughs> like, yeah, but, and I think Funny for story. me, it was like something that I did always want to do and I never got that chance. And he mm -hmm. got to fulfill that for me. So That's he cool. was awesome. like, he, he said, he's like, okay, well tell me now. If you don't want to, tell me now. And I was like, okay, I don't want to. And he goes, okay, no matter how much you want to, I'm going <laughs> to say no. And I was like, okay. Aww, and we definitely got to a couple places where I was like, mm, and he's like, nope, not no. going to do it. Good for him. So that that's was impressive. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So, um, Good for him. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that like it, it, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But Are you happy you did? Are you happy you waited? Yes, because of my own personal journey, mm -hmm. and it was something that was so important to me, and I got to do that. Whether anybody That's knows That's what matters. Or, yeah, because it, yeah. it wasn't about people thinking I was a virgin. It was my own inner thing that I needed to fulfill, and he did that for me, and that's amazing. So yeah. that's that's yeah, good. You I can mean, do both. Yeah, no. that's the thing. I think it's what works for you, and if that's what you want to do, like then you should do that and not feel pressure to do anything otherwise. Like If yeah. you want to wait till marriage, like fuck yeah, good for you. Wait till marriage. Yeah. But... Well, I know I just, for me personally, every single guy that I had sex with before we got married, I got my heart broken. Yeah. And every yeah. guy I didn't, I broke their heart. Mm. So I have this, I don't know if it's my, my religion or if it's, you know, like it's an my connection. relationship with God, but like it's women. for me, yeah. I can, I know. And that's why I told Ken too. I was like, I need to be in a relation. I need to be in this marriage because once I have sex with somebody, like I'm theirs. They yeah. can like they could walk all over me. I will not leave. And I got my heart broken time after time after time. Every time I gave myself to them, so that's that's why it was so important. To yeah. Me. Well, and yeah. I think that's why like you know not to get like biblical on everyone, but like that's why they talk about like not having sex with just like with just anyone, just with your husband or wife, yeah. because. It is, especially for women, and I don't know, like, I call BS on women who say that they can just, like, do it without it being emotional at all. Like, maybe, if you can, great. It depends but on the guy. I was going to say, I've got a few it. of those in the past where I would just be, like, on their lunch break, like, hey, come over right now, and then they would <laughs> leave, and, like, I would literally care if I never heard from him again. Oh, my god! But gosh. that's very rare. But I will say it I'm is. also very, very picky. Like, mm. I have to not only be attracted to you in some ways physically, but your personality. Mm. I have to be attracted to that. Yeah. yeah. And it's very rare that I find that whole package. Yeah. yeah. For so. men, it's it's mainly just physical. For women, it's so much more emotional. And that's why I think... Yeah, I don't know. Is. My husband is very emotional. Oh, I'm not saying it's not you know at what all I'm saying? for guys. It's so funny because he's not like that at all. Oh, really? Oh, not at that's all. Like, funny. he it has to be, like, he has to be happy. Oh. Yeah. But I think, because you were saying something about, um, like, for most women, I, I think also with women, like, that have sex that are We're aren't, just giving our heart away. It's not I, just yeah. our body. It's our Well, and sometimes it's not even about the guy. 
You mm. know what I mean? Like, I see, I have friends, I know people, and, you know, they, they have sex a lot with a lot of, you know, ro- multiple men. And I feel like it's not even an attachment to the men. It's something that they're yeah. missing and trying to fill. It could be that. And I also had somebody say that women are so much more vulnerable because I'm going to get a little graphic here, but we yeah. take a man inside us. Yes. Whereas a man mm, yes. is it. I have appendage. heard that. Yeah. And I haven't really thought too much on that, but it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like letting them into your little private zone. Yeah. <laughs> and it's your body. That's very vulnerable. Yeah. You're like giving a piece of yourself away like every single time. I read that somewhere that they said like, um, that's why they say, like, not to have sex before marriage is because, like, every time, like, a little piece of your heart is, like, chipped away that, like, you'll never get back. And you think of it, like, it's, yeah, it's it's emotional. It's very personal, you know. Mm-hmm. So. On the flip side, I've had a lot of sex that I never heard from the guy again. I shouldn't say a <laughs> lot. I've only had a couple, a handful of one-night stands and then people that I would just sleep with here and there. But Never, um, never have I ever I... had a one-night stand. Should we say really? how many people we've been with? I don't even ne- know the number. <laughs> I'm like, no. Mine's in the low 30s, I think. <laughs> um, wait, let me think. Brooklyn's like just awkwardly like, I'm four. Four? Four. Oh my gosh, I feel like All right, well, I'm in the middle. Hussy. Okay, well, there you go. So okay. I'm somewhere between those two. Like, right about the middle. Late 20s, early 30s or something like that. So. I don't, I mean, I've, I've heard far, 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 far. Work. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I bet you Nick's like in the hundreds. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. No. But that's the thing is like, n- nobody should be better or worse or. Yeah. Down there's on no, or, like, there's no judgment no, on this like, show. No. <laughs> like that's why I'm like, who cares? You know? Yeah. That's our numbers. Like this I is who we are. I was surprised by four, but like, again, it's everyone's own journey. Whatever makes them happy, that's what they should do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I think it's four. <laughs> That's now I'm work. happily married and love my sex life with my husband, so that's there all that go. matters, right? <laughs> Clearly enjoying it a little too much. <laughs> He's, like, already counting baby number two. I'm like, can Stop. you just... Yeah, can we talk about, like, sex while pregnant? Oh, my... <laughs> Oh, that, yeah. You were saying how horny you are. Like, as you get... You gotta get really creative. creative. And they need to tell you these things. <laughs> Like, well, we're here to tell you. Yeah. Well, she's here to tell you. You yes. can DM me privately. I, I get, like, a little bit bashful about things like this. But, like, it's funny because, like, our doula is, I love her. She's a family friend. And she is just, like, basically the way you get the baby out is the same way you got it in there, girl. And she's like, you've got to get creative. Haven't you ever heard of, like, a sex swing? And I'm, like, sitting there, like, oh, my gosh. I have a sex swing. I got the link for it on there Amazon you if you want it. No, <laughs> I've never even heard of one or seen one. I had to oh, Google it's it. Wonderful. See, I had to, I had to get induced because I wasn't having sex. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up, but obviously we touched on a lot of things. We touched on marriage. We touched or sex before marriage and uh, how what positions you were in when you got pregnant and if you had sex or you didn't when you got pregnant. Or um, so if there's anything that you guys are like, this is what I need. This is what I'm. I need to hear in my life right now. Or you know. Just comment below and let us know so we can go back to that. This plant is like, really. Needs to get out of it. <laughs> it's trying to poke you. Excuse me. Yeah. Already been poked. And we definitely want to know, like, you know, if they have any questions too. And we want to let you guys yeah. kind of lead us too. So if there's anything else you guys want to know more about or you have questions for all of us or individuals, yeah. you know. We don't um, have all the answers, but we do have the experience. So. For the most part. Oh, we like to talk, as it turns out. Yeah, we're learning <laughs> filming these. Yeah. We, can we thought talk it was going to be it. hard to fill 45 minutes, and now we're trying, saying it's hard to cut down to 45 yeah. minutes. So, um, yeah, direct us. What do you want? Let us know, and in the next uh, episode, we're going to be talking all about miscarriage.